and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to install the MapOS 8 on your Vene Apollo Lite. I think it's working for the other Vene phones, but uh, I only have one. So uh, yeah, if you want to see how uh, the finished result is, here you can see it. It's uh, the Oreo. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's like... Oh, okay, that's a nice easter egg. But there you can see here, uh, the Android version is 8.1.0. Sorry for my very bad uh, video quality. Um, I just have a very bad webcam. So, yeah. I would uh, start now. Um, the first thing you need to do is uh, download the zip file. I already extracted it. There you have three folders. Uh, the first is Android 7, Android 8, and SP Flash Tool is the third. Um, when you go into the Android 7 folder, we need to extract this uh, file. It's the MatOS 7.1.2. Uh, it's the FPF, uh, SPFT version uh, that's needed to install Android 8 um, because of the modified recovery. So now I will extract it here. Um, yeah, so, um, after it's extracted, we need to check if the scatter file is here. Here it is. You can see it. Uh, if you will open it, there's nothing really interesting for us because that's, uh, very cryptic for me. Okay. Uh, then we go one folder back and go into the SP flash tool. First of all, um, shut down your phone and pull out the charger. I've done it right now. And I will power it off now. And now we start the flash tool. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, you only need to know that you need to load the scatter file. Uh, you need to check uh, the scatter file, what you uh, have here in the extracted folder. Android 7 and then here uh, Android scatter. So now everything is checked here. That's uh, correct because we need to install everything. We change here from download mode to firmware upgrade. And um, now we need to click on download. And here's a quick uh, guide how to enable the flash mode. We will click the power button and immediately put pull in the cable. And uh, after the PC has recognized the system, we will uh, release the key again. So uh, I will do this now right here. I will pull now, uh, I will put, push the button now, hold it, put in the USB cable and now the system will flash to 7.1.2. After the flash is done, we need to uh, disconnect our phone again and click OK. So now we need to start the system one time. So we will uh, just press the power button, wait until it's coming to the loading screen. Um, yeah, that's finished now. We can now power it off or reboot directly into the recovery. Uh, okay, so when we are in the recovery, we need to uh, connect the charger again. I will check this here to never show again this message. Swipe right. And now we will uh, go to the internal storage. Uh, you can see it now here. If you can't see anything of the internal storage, you can uh, install the universal driver. Just Google it. They are really, really easy to find. Okay, now we go one folder back and go into Android 8. Um, if you like, you can delete all these. Here, we don't need them anymore. And just move in the recovery file. So now we click here on the system on install. Um, we will take internal storage. Click on um, 
install image that's the right button here my webcam is really bad so i can't show you the very working working thing that's pretty pretty bad now we click on recovery.img click on here recovery and swipe to right now the flash system uh, the, the system is flashed again uh, we have now got to uh, reboot into the new recovery uh, we will do this like reboot and then go to recovery again now the android 8 recovery is installed so now i will check this message again swipe the right and now we can see on our desktop that the internet storage is back again and now we can uh, put in the other both now we can disconnect the phone and now we will wipe the system one time because we need to do this uh, this is a full wipe we need to uh, check cache system and data and swipe to right wipe go back and now we can install uh, the image here you can see meta s and we swipe the right and now the image is flashing on the system Yeah, that's it. Um, now we go back. This is an option step. Uh, for me, it's working very well. So I go to wipe again, go to advanced wipe, check cache. Oops, check cache. Click on repair or change file system. Change file system and check F2 FT, uh, F2 FS. The same I'm doing for data. Change file system. And now we can uh, reboot into our Android 8 system. Go to reboot and then system. Give it a second. The first boot will uh, take a while, I think. Uh, that's completely normal. There you can see there's the Mad OS loading screen. And there you go. Now you can see, uh, I need to enter my pin. Now you can see the system is uh, loaded. What is here? Update preferred SIM card. No, we don't need to. And yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to install the open gaps. Therefore, we need to go to the recovery again. We can now do this by clicking here, clicking on restart and go to recovery. Click OK. Then now we will go to install. Um, just scroll down. You can see here open gaps, and just swipe to right. This will take a little while. So after a while, um, it's now ready. I will uh, open it now, and now we can. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I can uh, actually at my google account and yeah that's it guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if so just leave a subscribe and like the video if you got some questions i will help you i will try to help you uh, in the comment section and yeah see you on the next video guys have fun with flashing the image on your phone and we will see you in the next video goodbye